I was growing up. I pretended to be a superhero once in a while. Didn't every kid? It was fun to daydream about accidentally gaining superpowers, then to imagine yourself lying around and shrugging off bullets while punching out bad guys. Unfortunately, when it actually happened to me, my powers didn't come from radioactive bites, freak lab accidents, or mutant genes. No. It was the cape. The damn cape. The cape fell from the sky inside a meteor. Although nowhere near the scale of a dinosaur killer, the rock was still a big one. And even after smashing into the desert, it was surprisingly intact. My team went to investigate the site, and we had just started taking preliminary measurements when the meteorite split apart like an egg. There in the center was a scrap of cloth. I can't explain why I tried to touch it. I just knew the cloth was calling to me. As I reached out my gloved hand, the crackle of the Geiger counter faded away, and the warning cries from my team became muted like sounds heard underwater. Then the cloth pounced. In an instant, it curled around my wrist and pierced my hazmat suit, and time seemed to stop as it touched my bare skin. I felt it raiding my memories, absorbing everything it found. Then it slithered up my arm, warmed its way around to my back, and embedded itself into my shoulders. At that moment, I became the world's first real superhero. It's been a pretty good gig so far. I've stopped thousands of criminals and saved many more lives. I tackled natural disasters, then graduated to stomping out terrorists and warlords and evil dictators. The cape's power is unlimited. Nothing can stop me. But all along the cape has guided my actions. Through our bond, I learned it was created billions of years ago. By aliens who hoped to spread peace throughout the galaxy. And with me as its tool, it has accomplished this goal here on Earth. The trouble is, the cape is growing restless. Since its sole objective is peace, and peace has come, its only option now is to broaden its definition of peace. For instance, the people of this city are currently throwing me a parade, but the Cape thinks their noise is not peaceful. It longs to quiet them, and that little girl throwing confetti. That girl is littering. Littering is a crime. My burning eyes tell me the cape hungers to slice her apart with my heat vision. Every day, it gets harder to restrain the cape's urges. I would destroy the damn thing if I could, but I can't. It won't allow me. All I can do is smile and wave while inside I'm thinking obsessively about the meteor which brought the cape to Earth. The cape prevents me from telling anyone, but I know the truth. That chunk of rock was all that remained of the last world the cape visited. If you enjoyed this and would like to hear more stories like these, please go to www.youtube.com slash the voice of nightmares. Don't forget to give my video a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more content. Also, you can follow me now on social media sites such as Twitter, Mr. Creepypasta Amino, Creepypasta Amino, Creepypasta Wiki and Instagram. Last but not least, all stories, art and music are owned by their respective authors. Links are available in the description below.